Hello and welcome to my programming channel. My name is Ryan and today I'll be showing you how to download Eclipse, which is just a fancy tool to help you create, compile, and run your Java programs quickly and efficiently. And I'll also be showing you how to download the Java Development Kit, or JDK for short, which you'll need to use Eclipse. The reason why I'm showing you how to download Eclipse is because it's the program that I'll be using for future tutorials, but many other programs will work. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so I know downloading things from the internet is pretty straightforward, but there's a few things that could be questionable and I'll just try and help you walk you through them. Okay, so you're gonna first wanna start off by just typing Eclipse Downloads. And uh, the first thing that pops up should be eclipse.org slash downloads. Go ahead and click on that. And it'll bring you to this page with a whole bunch of stuff that you can download but the things that you're gonna to wanna to focus on is just the very top one which is just the Eclipse standard and the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers these are the two that you're gonna be most interested in now really between these two either will work for really basic Java programming uh, the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers has a few more added functions than the standard Eclipse but for our purposes the standard Eclipse will work just fine so as you can see on the right here it just has Windows 32 or 64 bit whatever your operating system is so I'll go ahead and click the 64 bit and there's a even more options on the next page that comes up just where to download from well, this is pretty much just telling you, you can, you can download from here, right here, United States OSU Open Source Lab, um, or you can download from other places which just mirror this download. Same thing, but depending on your location, it may be quicker to just download from one of these other places. Uh, we can go ahead and just click this one, and it'll open up this and you can save it and download it and go through it just just like you would any other program and uh, just install it and follow all the on-screen instructions and that's pretty much it for Eclipse um, after that we can move on to the JDK alright so for the JDK now you're just gonna wanna start out you can seriously just type in JDK into Google and it'll come up with oracle.com and Oracle owns Java so just click on the very first one and you'll see Java SE downloads go ahead and scroll down and you'll see the JDK server JRE and JRE you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on download under JDK now once you click that be sure to click this accept license agreement and now you'll be able to download now you'll have to be careful that you download it for the right operating system. As you can see, you can download it for Linux, Mac, Solaris, and then Windows down here at the bottom, x86 or x64. x86 is the 32-bit, and then of course x64 is the 64-bit. And so then you just wanna click the appropriate download button, and it'll, you'll, it'll, you'll be asked to save it go ahead and save it and then it should automatically run if not just run the executable and then you'll have the JDK, JDK sorry, downloaded and uh, you'll be all ready to start programming okay so just an added note when you first open up Eclipse just like we are right now um, it'll, it'll load up for a little bit but then you might notice that it's not quite in the right view or setting so if you go over to file new and it says JPA project. That's not exactly what you want for the upcoming tutorials. You'll want file new Java project. So just to change that, just go to window, open perspective, and then Java. And then that'll change it to the right orientation. So you can go file new, and then Java project. And uh, well, you guys are ready to learn some tutorials and learn how, some Java programming. All right, thanks for watching.